the first part of 2013, everybody was talking about the future of the euro. Even like the European governments were like very worried about the survival of the currency. However, the second half of the year, everybody is talking about something new, something that is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first implementation of something called a cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency uses cryptographic algorithms to generate the currency using a peer-to-peer -peer network distributed in the internet all over the world. In other words, Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency, not subject under the control of any central authority, government or central bank. In the analog world, world is fixed. We have a fixed quantity of gold. In the digital world, also we have a fixed number of bit Bitcoins to be extracted. This quantity is fixed to 21 million Bitcoins. Right now, uh, we have around 12 million Bitcoins in circulation. If we continue this rate of extraction of Bitcoins, we'll reach the maximum number of Bitcoins by the year 2040. The best way to, to get Bitcoins is to exchange uh, normal currencies like euros or dollars into Bitcoins. However, uh, if we look what happened with the Bitcoin exchange rate against the dollar in this last year, at the beginning of the year, uh, Bitcoin was worth maybe a few amount of dollars. Right now it's $900. At the beginning of Bitcoins, Bitcoins were used for digital goods like music, like games, gambling, etc. But more and more, we are observing new companies selling uh, tangible products also using Bitcoins. A lot of uncertainty and a lot of, a lot of risks are raised regarding Bitcoins. Can money be privatized? And in that sense, can money can be outside of regulation, outside of the tax control? Recently, there is a lot of like news, uh, for instance, when the FBI basically like detained uh, people using Bitcoins in order like to do money laundry and also like to transact with drugs. What is going to be the future of Bitcoin is very difficult to know. What we know is that right now the technology, we can have different transactions to put in contact between buyers and sellers and this kind of digital currencies are possible. Is Bitcoin going to survive? It's very difficult to know. What we know is that in the digital age, now we have the technology that is possible not only to disrupt business model, but also we have the potential to disrupt central banks and the whole monetary system as a whole.